Hey everybody, I need to shoot a quick video to act as an intro to the videos that I've already done. Um, this video that you're about to watch, um, I recorded it and I recorded him thinking that it was cold reading when actually after I've uploaded the videos the next day, I woke up to find that somebody who follows our channel, uh, thank you very much, you know who you are, um, sent me some screenshots. And this is a person who had had readings with Thomas John for a while um, and totally believed in him. And turns out that they, well, over time, they've learned that um, he's actually not what they thought he was as you can see in these videos. So what we found out later, all well, I found out this morning is that just like Thomas does, Thomas John does later in his career, where, where I'm a little more familiar with him in 2019, 2020, when he's going to be doing a show, he posts on Facebook saying, Hey, everybody, anybody want a reading? <laughs> I'm going to be on this show. And so people will post and they will say, I'd like a reading. And he goes, great, call me at this number or call this number at this time. And what is happening is, is there's the Facebook post that the person has left. Like, so if uh, Mary Jones says, I'd like a reading, and he goes into Mary Jones Facebook page because there's the her Facebook page right there. Um, he says, yeah, you'd be great. So make sure you call in at this time and I'll give you a reading. And what happens is he's already got enough information to do a two or three minute reading. And trust me, it takes a minute or two to get the get enough information for somebody. I mean, it could take two or three minutes max to find a couple things that you need to, to uh, tell somebody. And they're not hard to find this information. So what I think is going on is that some of these readings are cold and some of the readings are start out as cold reading and then they move into information that he knows. And the reason why I feel like that's what's happening is because if, if Mary Smith calls in and all he sees on the screen or all he's told is Mary is here, then he starts out with a generic cold reading. You know, I'm getting an older family member, you know, it looks like a woman who wants to come through. Is, is this your mother or is this your grandmother? You know, standard medium stuff. And then whenever he's talking to her, her, he tries out some of the information on the Mary he's expecting to show up. And that's when it moves into a hot reading. So I think that's what's going on. Um, the host probably is totally unaware of all this. The person who's screening is probably completely unaware of this as well. So I think that uh, some of these readings are going to be cold and a few of them are going to be hot. Uh, let me show you a screenshot from the person who sent the um, information to me. And my team has spent the day trying to find more and we have some more. But just for time reasons, I'm just going to show you what I've got right here. And so... What Thomas John did is he's emailing the person. Um, the person emails him first, and then he says, well, would you like a reading on the show? And here's, here's the person right here. Hello, I'm interested in the recorded reading I saw on Facebook. Thank you. And then they give him the phone number, and then they call in, and they're able to, to get a reading. The person that sent me the screenshot did get a reading from Thomas John the next day on the same program that we're talking about. And um, she, the person told me that they was a little bit accurate and a little bit vague. And some of the predictions he made back in 2015 still haven't happened or 2016 still haven't happened. <laughs> so um, we have other people that were finding these, these screenshots where people who are saying, I want a reading, I want a reading, which makes it very easy for him to go in and, and find the information, him or one of his one of his um, confederates would be able to um, find that information for him.
So we'll we'll report back and probably in future videos as we find more information. But I just wanted to get this on the record because in the second video that I have in this series, I I quite honestly thought he was cold reading everybody. And so when he starts getting some hot readings or, or some really accurate information in this video, part two in this series, I said, good job, Thomas John. I don't know how you did that. Really good job. You know, you, you definitely scored some hits on that. Like I said, I wake up in the morning and I find out that these are hot readings mixed with cold readings. And so that person that I thought looked sounded legit and the reading sounded like he just got some really good hits now we know why so enjoy the rest of the videos if you do like this channel and you find this interesting doing a deep dive in mediumship and like me you find this fascinating especially the psychology of it please like please subscribe i would love to have your comments as well so enjoy the rest of the videos thanks Okay, so this is the second video of maybe four or five. I don't know. Let's see. I'm watching these videos for the very first time. You're watching them with me. I will put in the description below, I will put the link to the video. So if you want to listen to it at the same time I'm listening to it, well, if you want to listen to it before I uh, give you my analysis, you can look at the link in the description underneath the YouTube video. What we're looking at today is um, early Thomas John, the Manhattan medium. This is prior to him becoming the seatbelt psyching. Uh, May 2016, he is uh, on a radio show uh, with Laura Smith, who I have never heard of before. It's 77 WABC and it's Mother's Day and he's doing uh, taking calls and um, this is early Thomas John, as I said, and um, he's never been a great cold reader, but, um, you know, let's see how he does. This is when somebody calls in, you're unlikely to know who they are. Unlikely, but I mean, there are ways of doing it, having a friend call in or whatever. But I'm assuming that the rest of these, these are all cold reading people who are coming in completely unknown um anyway the first reading didn't go so well for him if if you didn't really know what to watch and what to look for yeah i guess it could have looked pretty pretty accurate until you started really looking at what he actually said and what and taking notes and thinking about it it um i gave him a zero there was nothing he got right in the first one so this one is somebody named monica and that's all we know and Oh, you guys check it out with me. Let's let's see what we got here. Hold on a second. Let's cue it up. For calling Allison and starting off the show tonight on Above and Beyond with Laura Smith and Thomas John, the Manhattan medium on a Mother's Day. A lot of alliteration there. Since we're going with the M's, we're going to go with Monica in Bloomberg, New York. Hi, Monica. Go ahead. Oh, hi. Thank you for taking my call. Um, yes, anybody on my other side on um, I don't really care. I'm not specific, but I have a lot of losses. Okay, so you're just open to whoever comes in. Yes. Okay. Now your mom's gone too, right? Yes. Okay. Because um, <clears throat> there's, two, I don't know if you would have two mothers, but I feel two mom energies, like almost like a mom and a stepmom. Um, do you understand where I'm going with this? Because there's two people that feel like mothers to me. Yes. Okay. My, my aunt. Okay, so my because aunt. because somebody it's like somebody raised somebody, you know, that's what they're talking about. Now, I don't feel that your mom, um, what I'm getting with your mom is I, I feel sometimes that she was abusive to you or, or, or that she, what she's telling me is abusive. I don't know if it's physical or verbal, but I feel like she was hard on you. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Yes. So just so you know, she didn't understand that here, but she understands it there. Um, I feel like, you know, she didn't really get it over here, but now when she's over there, she, cause she died a long time ago, correct? 
Yes. Okay. She has your baby, too. Do you understand? Yes, I Okay, because there's a baby that comes through, too. So I just want to say she has the baby. And even though probably you would think, well, my mom wasn't that nice. I really don't want her with my baby. <laughs> uh, I feel like she is. she has the baby. So there is a, there is a connection there. And... Your mom is very good to her, to the baby over there. You know, the, your mom treat. Now, um, I want to tell you too, did mom drink too? Because I'm getting very, very strong alcohol. Yes. Yeah, okay. Because I get very like drinks, 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 alcohol. You know, that was her escape. I want to just tell you too. Um, so she's around, fine. She's connected to you. Now, I just want to tell you one more thing. I know you didn't ask about this. <clears throat> I don't like that house. I don't like that... I don't like that house you're trying to get. I don't know. What are you doing with the house? Are you buying a house? A condo. I don't like that a condo. I think that you should, I think you should look into something else. Have you got, when are you going for, you're going, are you doing the appraisal this week? Yes. Okay. They're trying to rip you off on something. I'm just going to say it as honest as I can. There's something about that place that is not right. I don't know. It feels like there's something wrong with it. They're not telling you it. There's a problem. Um, was there ever a situation in that home with mold? I'm not sure. That, okay. I'm not, I'm not really positive. Okay. Because, All right. So just, you know what, you, you check that out. All right, Monica. God bless. Thank you so much for calling tonight, sweetheart. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you so much. What do you think? This is interesting going and doing these live with you all, with y'all short. It's a very timid woman, Monica in Bloomberg, New York. She's had a lot of losses. It's hard to tell how old she is. So you would assume she's probably has a mother who's died. That's usually what mediums start off with is I see a mother figure, a father figure, um, and then depending on the age of the person they're reading, it's that's where they zoom in on. Um, I feel like there's two mother energies. She, and she said, yeah, it was my aunt. So, wow. He said abusive mother. And apparently that's right. Maybe Thomas John is real. Oh my gosh. Did your mom drink? Yes. Um, she has her baby with her, with you. A light died a long time ago. Um, trying to get a house. I don't like he Thomas John doesn't like the house. And she says it was a condo. And did it have mold? And yes. And or no, she didn't know if it had mold. And appraisal this week. Yes. He did really good. That was great. Um, let's see what we should say. So the two energies of two mothers, that's not all that unusual because there's usually more than one female figure around everybody, somebody you're more closer to the others. A baby, she has your baby with you, her. Does that make sense? And she said, yes. Then he said her, he said, she's, you know, he said like it was a female child and then he skipped it really quick. Like he wasn't sure. Well, if it hadn't hit, then it, he may have fallen back on a miscarriage or you didn't realize you had miscarried when, you know, that missed period you had a long time with it was actually a miscarriage. You just weren't aware of it. And that that baby is with your mother. That was what I would expect if she hadn't said yes. Um, did your mom drink? Well, I don't know what to say. I'll have to think about it, but those are all pretty good. The part about the, so this one, I would say, unless he knew this person who was calling in uh, or unless the woman was one of those personalities that agrees with the medium, 
then he did really good. She's she's trying to buy a house. Well, she isn't trying to buy a house. She's trying to buy a condo. And um, the appraiser, appraisal this week, that was really good. And, and your mom drank it and was abusive. Good job, Thomas. Um, this was a good one. I don't have anything else to say at the moment. And I'm not sure that I would think that you're communicating with the dead. Some of those could be guesses. Some of it could have been a hot read. Or maybe you are speaking to the dead. Let's go to the next video and find out how he does in that one. Give me your comments. Please give me your comments and um, subscribe. I really would appreciate if you would subscribe and leave me some feedback and all those wonderful things. I really would appreciate it. Great. I think we have a few more of these. Maybe we're going to find some really interesting things about Thomas John. This might be really a good thing.